Hi, I'm Carly Bell, and welcome to my craft room. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use your Silhouette or Cricut cutting machine to cut fabric into applique pieces for embroidery. So I am in the process of making something right now and I want to put an applique name across um, this piece of fabric and I'm going to do the applique in this and I'm going to show you how I put some heat and bond on the back of this fabric, load it. I have a Silhouette Cameo 4, but you can also do this on the Cricut Maker. Uh, both machines have a rotary blade. So I am going to load the fabric on the mat and use the rotary blade to cut out the letters um, in the applique for the name. And I'm not sure how to do it in the Cricut design space, but I'll show you how to use the embroidery file um, that comes with the applique font and open it in Silhouette Studio to make cut lines so that you can just cut out the applique pieces. So let's go ahead and head over to the computer now so I can show you how to open the embroidery file in Silhouette Studio. Okay, so I have Silhouette Studio opened up in my computer and it's very easy to open up embroidery files in Silhouette Studio. All you do is pull up your files um, on your computer. So this is the Gavin Scribble Stitch applique font. I got it from Joy Kate Designs. I have a brother machine, so um, but I think it, it doesn't matter. You can use any of the, the types of design files. And this is the alphabet, so I'm doing a two inch alphabet. And they have the uppercase and lowercase letters. So the name that I am doing is Zach. So I'm gonna pull the capital Z, so I'm just gonna click it, drag, and drop into Silhouette Studio. So capital Z little a Let's scroll over this way little c and then a little h So as with appliques, you have a three steps for each piece. You have the placement stitch, the tack down stitch, and the finishing stitch. So this is kind of a, a bean stitch, and that's why I think it will look really nice to have a nice clean cut piece of fabric going right outside of the, the bean stitch. Um, and with the heat and bond light on the back, it will adhere to the, the other fabric. So there are three different cut files here. So this is your finishing bean stitch. This is the tack down stitch. And then last, this is the placement stitch. So first let's do the Z. So I'm going to select the Z and it's real important that you don't modify the size of this because remember this is being cut for exactly for the embroidery design which is going to stitch my 2 inch tall alphabet. So I'm going to click my letter and I'm going to go to the offset button, click offset. I like to have sharp corners and we're going to do point o I think looked good when I tried it earlier. So this is going to be, so it, you'll notice it did an offset on the inside and an offset on the outside. So I'm going to click it and that's going to pull out what was my placement stitch. And so now I have this, which is um, the offset, um, both outer and inner. And I'm going to right click it and go to release compound path. And then just click on the inner, 
you can drag it out to make sure that you did click it and you can delete it because we're not going to need that. Also, sometimes I notice when I do an offset, it makes these random other cut pieces inside. So we'll delete that too. So now this is, and if you drag it and you hold it over where your bean stitch is going to be, it's going to be slightly bigger um, than that, with, and I think that's going to look good. So this is the piece I actually want to cut. So now we'll just repeat this process for each letter. Okay, so I'm all done with making all of the applique cuts so that they are slightly larger than the finishing uh, bean stitch. So now I'm just going to move them on the mat to where I'm going to place my fabric. So I put my fabric like one inch down and one inch over. And the piece of fabric I cut is about three and a half inches by six inches. So let me just make sure. Yep, that's gonna fit nicely. So now I'm just gonna back up. And then all this stuff we can delete. And since it's outside the cutting field, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to get that out of the way. And just put these next to each other. Alright, so now we're going to go to Sin. And my first tool, I want to make sure this is all selected when I go to No Cut. And then I'm going to go to tool number two, which is where my rotary blade is, and go to rotary cut. And my material is um, fabric thin cotton. So when you cut with a rotary blade, it does, in order for it to turn, it makes all these weird cuts, but all of them are outside of the actual piece of fabric that we want to keep for the applique. So I know this looks weird, but it's okay as long as the pieces you're pulling out, uh, it doesn't interfere with that. So now let's go ahead and send it to the machine. So now that we have all of our applique letters cut out, um, really all we need to do now is stitch the placement stitches. Then because these are so little and I want to make sure they stay in the right spot, I'm going to use some temporary spray adhesive to hold it right where it's supposed to go before it does the tack down stitch and finish stitch. So once your tack down stitch is done, and I have my cutout piece of applique with the spray adhesive on the back, um, I undid my hoop so that I can see this better and be right on top of it. And I am carefully going to place my applique fabric right so that it's on top of my tack down stitch. Of that placement stitch. So now we can do the tack down stitch 
And actually, I'm going to change my thread color because this is not a satin. This is not going to be a satin stitch. This is going to be like um, a bean uh, vintage looking stitch. So I want to use my green thread for both the tack down and the finishing stitch. So it is all done and it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the placement stitch for the rest of the letters and stick all the rest of the letters on so that I can go straight through with the tack down and applique. So that is all for cutting your applique pieces with your Silhouette Cameo or your Cricut Maker. I'm sorry I can't, I'm not familiar with Design Space, but I'm hoping that um, it is as easy as Silhouette um, Studio where you can just drag and drop in the embroidery file and use the cut um, from the placement stitch or tack down stitch. So um, I had a little bit of issue cutting the fabric. Um, with the new machines with the rotary blade, they mentioned that you do not need to have any interfacing on the back of the fabric to cut. However, for applique, I always put heat and bond light on the back of the fabric. So I think I need to play around with the settings. I just did the default settings as far as the force went. So I ended up doing two rounds of cutting over the fabric and I still had a couple little tiny spots which I snipped. Um, with the scissors so maybe increasing the force slightly would prevent having to do a double cut and having any um, snags um, in the cutting but overall I'm really happy with how um, crisp the cut is and how it looks with this particular applique font from um, Joy Cake Designs. So um, I think depending on what kind of applique you're doing, this um, technique of using your Silhouette or Cricut to cut your pieces can make your life a lot easier. Um, but then there are other times where if you're just doing one or two pieces, it's just easier to use your applique scissors. So try it out, see if you like it, and let me know in the comments below um, if this is a technique that you like to use at home. So. Uh, I hope everyone is having a great day. Please give me a thumbs up if you like today's tutorial and click the subscribe button so you can see more things going on in my craft room. If you have any questions about any other projects I'm working on, please check out my website, carlybell.com. Thanks.